Hey, what is going on, you guys? Welcome to One of Each, the Dumb and Hungry podcast, where we talk about our food adventures and our favorite food groups. I'm Angelo, the Dumb and Hungry. And I'm My Chow. And thank you for joining us. I hope you're doing all right. My Chow, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay. You know, it's another day, another stream podcast. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, another... Um, Another fulfillment of your contractual obligation to whatever this is. <laughs> yeah, I have a lawyer looking at that right now. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay. Um, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully you're doing all right, at least uh, tolerating yeah. uh, this mm-hmm. time that we have together as we uh, talk about uh, our food adventures, <laughs> things like that. Sure, um, sure. As your, I don't know, as your Gundam and other and other figure I, collection continues to grow and expand, and I don't know, just yeah, it's uh, hope uh, hope your Gundams are plenty and your switches are clicky. So yeah, no, no clicky switches. We want quiet. Oh, only quiet, just like um, kind of silent tact- tactile. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're you're not one of those like they want the like really loud like like how do you know it's responsive like unless it's like really loud honestly like, yeah I don't really don't like that about mm-hmm. well for the the tactiles at least you can feel it but for linears sometimes you can't even tell I don't know yeah yeah uh, for those not the uninitiated we they were referring to uh, the key, mechanical keyboards uh, for computers which is a whole hobby and community in itself so if you want to build your own keyboard uh for the computer you very well could do that and um so good luck to you (laughs) fair yeah um well you know we're here today because we wanted to actually bring up um a topic that we have um kind of brought up uh early on like a previous episode um we were i was hanging out with um jamie and and kat Um, that was when we were trying out a lot of those Filipino snacks. Actually, Mm -hmm. before I get distracted, I do want to actually have a follow up or at least ask you, um, about that, uh, these Filipino snacks, because after I had shared them with everyone else, you were kind of one of the later people to, uh, to share them with. And I know I just basically lugged a big old suitcase literally and tell you to <laughs> stuff it in your car and then take it home and then try out the snacks that are in that bag. So I yeah, wanted that was, to uh, ask. That is exactly uh, what happened. If you don't mind, if you can recall any of your experience or what you tried um, about those snacks, what can you remember? Uh, ooh, honestly, I don't remember too much. We oh had the banana God. chips, you know, always good. All right. Um, clover chips. It is what it is. They have it here, but it's, mm-hmm. I guess it's just. It seemed saltier though the ones okay. that, that we okay. had. Okay. All right. Um, Chalk not my favorite personally. Mm. I can love you, those. Can you explain again for the uninitiated? Let me just bring that up. But what is chalk nut? I honestly don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, let Let's see what the internet tells it's us. It's like a malt. Like a malt. If. I mean, that's a good kind of way of saying it because it's like got that powdery kind of a quality yeah, to it. it just like it breaks apart. You, yeah. When you poke it too hard, it'll crumble. Yeah. 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 But it's it's nice chocolatey, nutty thingy. Yeah. It's good. It's a small candy bar thing, like the size of an eraser. Um, smaller, even. Maybe smaller, yeah. Um, some of the flavors that come from it are peanuts, sugar, milk powder. There you go. That's like a malt thing. Um, cocoa powder and vanilla. Um, yeah, so you have the size that you were eating, you know, maybe like that eraser size, but some of them, yeah, are real tiny, you know, like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, super tiny. Um, so it's, it's really, <sighs> really interesting, so Good, but it's, it's a very like, popular snack from the Philippines. Uh, you can find them like at my uh, favorite. Good. I'm glad. I think that was like kind of the consensus, like even from, oh. uh, from the girls, like they, they really liked that. Snack. And Kat actually never tried. Um, never had chalk nut or anything like that at all. So I oh, feel wow. like she was deprived of, uh, from her childhood. So apparently, um, but there are other brands out there, um, uh, that kind of try to go step up, uh, toe to toe with chalk nut, but I think chalk nut still kind of reigns supreme in that kind of space. Nice. Glad to, glad um, to know. Are okay. Do you remember any other snacks that you had tried? There were like the two different peanut brittles. 
Mm. Uh, to was it, was the peanut brittle, brittle like in the kind of that styrofoam kind of small con, uh, container thing wrapped in plastic? I'm trying to remember now. No, that wouldn't be peanut brittle. That's something else. Oh. Um, okay. The the peanut brittle that I had was in like a vertic- like a jar. Oh, okay. Glass jar or not okay. glass up? Uh, sorry, cylindrical. Yeah. Taller type jar, taller, not wide. They have like a gold, like yellow gold colored. Yes. Top. Yes, it did. I'm trying to remember where yeah. that place is from. I don't shoot. Yeah, because there were a number the, uh, of places uh, that we got with a bunch of different from. ones. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Filipinos love peanut brittle. I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, I guess I don't know. I like it. So that's <laughs> no, good. I mean, so yeah, the majority of those snacks came from you know the supermarket, you know the SM supermarket, mm-hmm. um, and then some of those other snacks that you ha- might have had um, came from. Uh, places like Baguio when we were out there. That's the mountain town of course. out uh, kind of north part of uh, the main, what, maybe at least five, six hours north of Manila. But um, some of the snacks were from there too. Um, you had the, also had the, um, the lengua de gato, right? Like those yes. uh, milk oh, crackers. Oh, I love, yeah. You like those too? Yes, I do. I mean, did you like them? Even before? The ones that you brought? Yeah. Oh, before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So Lengua de Gato is, let me see, I guess like these simple butter cookies, I guess. They're like mm-hmm. thin thin wafer type things. Um, yep, yep. I don't know why they call them cat's tongue, but, you know, whatever. It's not literally it's made from that cat's tongue, but whatever. Even if it is, at least as long as it tastes good, right? So. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think actually the one that you had... I think the one you mostly ate from is from that larger container, right? Um, Yes. So that one, I think, came from um, the restaurant we talked about it um, called Balay Balay Dako um, out in Tagaytay, uh, which is about an hour and a half south of Manila. Um, The restaurant itself is this kind of elevated like home cooking spot, very mm. nice place oversees this beautiful view of the lake and everything. But, um, the restaurant also has a small kind of shop or bakery or whatever that has all these snacks, including like the lingua de gato. It also included, um, the, we had tried this, uh, chicha pop, uh, snack, uh, with the girls. Mm. And, uh, that was one of their favorites oh, I love too. Those. Yeah. 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 So, um, I don't know if, what I shared with you had any of that, but, um, yeah. it did. There were oh, still a couple of bags of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Those are, yeah, those I love fun. those. Those are fun. Yeah. I'm, let's see. Although I'm surprised there wasn't any Balong. Boy Balong. Boy, Balong. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was, I mean, uh, I can tell you that I had packed it in there. I mean, I, um, I know I brought it back with me. I, I don't know if it made it back to you, but, I know. Okay. No, that's uh, fine. I know the girls that's tried it. It uh, mm-hmm. was okay. Yeah. Oh, only okay. What? Yeah, yeah. It's like a really popular one that people bring back from the Philippines. I know, super popular. So yeah. I mean, they're not all what winners, else? you know. But yeah, fair. So Espasol. Uh, Espasol. Uh huh. I don't think you had any. Uh, at least in the luggage. Let me see. Did I? Can you also remind me what that is? That's the rice cake or something, right? Like Yeah, basically like a Filipino version of mochi. Well, the thing is that I I think I don't know if that like considers like a perishable item or something. I'm not really sure. Trust me when I say this, people have come back with it. I don't know. No, if I know. I don't know if it's allowed. I but... think I was being super careful or something like okay. I was being okay. real cautious. Fair. You know, even for something like dried fruit, like I'd want to take that back, but like Oh yeah, like even my mango. my some of my relatives were saying like, yeah, no, it's not going to probably won't fly. Really? I don't know. I, yeah, it was kind of, it was interesting to hear that. But again, just took it on the, just took the safe side of it. It's all right. Um, there's obviously there was plenty to go, plenty of other things to try so and much, go yeah. around, you know. So um, you did some damage on it. I mean, I, I you know, I, I know there's still stuff uh, when you return the case. There's still some stuff there, but. I think uh, from what I had first given you, you'd gone through quite a bit of it. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Look, I'm, 
I am born in the Philippines. A lot, I have so many relatives that come back bringing snacks. I mm-hmm. grew up eating Filipino snacks. Yeah. It was it was great. Yeah. Yeah, good. Um well, uh I hope uh I'm glad you enjoyed it and I hope that I don't know, next time if I go back or again, I can bring back more snacks. Um so that's fine. More to enjoy. More to enjoy. So mm-hmm. there was one snack though. It's kind of again, just kind of what I remember. Like it wasn't a Filipino snack, but snack that's probably more popular in the Southeast Asia uh, region is um, this. Uh, let me look it up. It was called Golden. Is a Golden Duck. It's a chip, um, and it's, they got like different. Uh, flavors like one of them is like an egg yolk um, kind of chip flavor another one has like um, I don't even know now is it golden duck golden egg man I'm like losing it here salted okay so the term I'm trying to look for is like salted egg chips Um, so the one is called it's from the brand golden duck and okay. oh yeah. these are good i don't yeah did you have any i don't know if anything was left for you not from the not from the luggage no but i've had these before okay. and once again i have lost the internet what is wrong with this thing i gotta i gotta figure this out um but yeah the uh the chips here i'm talking about um this is what i had brought back Golden Duck Gourmet Salted Egg Yolk. So it's like kind of a, it's very strong kind of egg yolk flavor, kind of saltier uh, with yeah, some. Those are good. Yeah. So you've had those before? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess they also have fish skin. So they have some other flavors. And I think like, for example, like Costco might have something like another brand of this, like a larger size, but like a different brand. Um, and, mm-hmm. and for okay. example, like they would, uh, it wouldn't be like a potato chip it would be like, um, like salmon skin or whatever I think is Ooh. like, um, but that's an example like this kind of snack I think is like a Singapore, Singaporean snack. That's quite popular okay. and it is on the pricier side. Um, I think like even in the Philippines, it's like equivalent of five or $6, which is quite pricey. Ooh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think at first I found these at like 99 ranch and they were like close to ten dollars um but then i uh visited a filipino market nearby down here called tambuli market and um it's it's a filipino uh kind of market is it okay what do you think i thought it was i thought it was indian okay because of the name yeah but partially don't be judgmental well, because there um, used to be a um, because there's a temple you on Vermont here in LA, uh, in near K Town. Oh, it uh, used to be another. It used to be a Filipino market. I forgot what it was. You know what? Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of remember that on Vermont, right? You said Vermont yeah. and uh, Melrose ish, ish a little south, yeah, yeah south of yeah. LACC. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you're right. Um, but at least for me, it's a Filipino market. You got a lot okay. of Filipino uh, groceries. They even have a little, uh, um, I even forgot what you call it, but like they got hot food there. So, oh, yeah. um, but anyway, there, I, I found these, I found those snacks and it's only like six or $7. Um, nice. so, Still. um, I mean, it is pricier, but like to, to find them Big at different, yeah. 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 Find them at that price. So it was, it was pretty good. So, um, yeah, that's the golden egg. Um, golden duck salted egg uh, chips or something. Anyway, um, we had those links or whatever. We'll share those again, but they were in that Filipino snack episode we had uh, with uh, J- Jamie and Kat. So, um, but all that to say, you know, we were visiting them um, and hanging out with them. Uh, it reminds me again also that, Maicha, we need to get you, we need to meet up, you know, all of us. We still haven't mm-hmm. been able to, to get out before before i move on from this uh Stop. this luggage of snacks we should not forget what you did with this luggage of snacks after dinner that one night okay 
Yes, because uh, we had this is the time when we um, met up for dinner for John's birthday, um, and you had said, "Yeah, I'm going to bring the I'm going to return the luggage to you." So uh, it was after dinner, and we uh, were about to part ways, and then uh, you reminded me, "Hey, got to give you back the luggage." So then, what happened? Uh, well, one day in January, there they weren't they were never part of the whole snack distribution originally. Oh, sure, uh huh, right. So when you were, we were discussing it and they were like, oh, snacks. And then you were like, you offered them snacks. I did. And we had to look through, of course, the luggage. And it was in my trunk. So it ended up being a, a snack deal in the back of my car with you facilitating it to Wendy and Daniel. Yeah, not suspicious at all, right? Just like... In the just parking lot, yes. Pulling out this large, uh, this large suitcase that like large for check-in luggage, right? And then... Yeah. And then opening it up, prying it open in the back of a Toyota Corolla, right? In the trunk uh, and trying to get it balanced in there and uh, just trying <laughs> to pull out all the snacks that uh, I think they would like to try and all this and that. And yeah, everyone's just like kind of gathered around there. Like, and this is what late at night, this is like at uh, yeah. maybe eight or nine or nine, something like that. Nine, yeah. Yeah. So it's obviously evening. It's, you know, it's dark and whatever. So and people are just like driving by, you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> it's a parking lot. It was still right. up for a pretty busy plaza. Exactly. So, uh, again, There's nothing, not nothing suspicious about that. There's nothing, uh, nothing dubious or, or anything nefarious going on there. You know, just a typical Sunday evening in, uh, the parking lot in the Valley, uh, just distributing snacks. So Filipino snacks. Sure. <laughs> Uh, Wendy and Daniel, I hope you tried out whatever it was and I hope, um, it didn't kill you. So, so yeah, those, um, those were good. Those were good snacks. Um, glad you got to try them and hopefully we will continue to try more, um, and appreciate more of those snacks. Cool. So yeah, again, it was, um, uh, that was the day when, um, anyway, I hung out with, uh, Jamie and, and Kat we were trying out those snacks, and then later that day, uh, we had dinner um, at um, at this restaurant called Bistro Nas, which is um, what we are going to talk about today. Well, not we actually, and I'll get into that. But uh, this is the spot we're going to talk about. Uh, Bistro Nas is a restaurant in the San Gabriel Valley in Temple City that serves uh, Chinese imperial cuisine. I think um, probably the more notable things about them is that they are a Michelin star restaurant. They have one Michelin star and um, they are the only Michelin star for the, uh, for that SGV uh, area. So um, I think they still currently hold it. I mean, they, so there's a lot kind of reputation and, you know, kind of um, on that. So I admittedly, I don't know a whole lot about, um, about that, I think I learned just a lot about what Chinese imperial cuisine is or what it can be through this uh, visit. But it's really about, you know, having, you know, these elaborate kind of cooking methods. It's, you know, as the name implies, it's imperial, it's royalty, it's, you know, kind of regal. So again, elaborate cooking methods, you have typically like a, a selection of like strict certain materials that are more expensive, maybe more, you know, sourced, um, more specifically, they might be rare depending on what's being prepared. And again, because it's supposed to be for royalty, like the presentation is supposed to be a lot better, mm -hmm. more visually pleasing, the shape or even the color, you know, the aesthetics of the actual food, not just the taste, the food, uh, the looks are also very important. So, um, from what I can gather, like some of the, I wouldn't say remnants, but like one of the kind of long standing dishes from this style might things be like pecking duck or like a bird's nest soup. You know, those would be examples like things that have come from or inspired from that, uh, from that, that kind of cook, that cooking style. Um, but Bistro Nas, um, is a restaurant that has been around for a little, for quite a while, for several years already. It's been something that's been on Jamie's mind and her list to try. Um, and thankfully now it kind of the timing of um, kind of came together, you know, where we were available and we were able to get out there. So um, this was a 
location that we've talked about. And then this was a location that we um, actually were able to kind of go out there, uh, visit, eat, and then also kind of uh, record our conversation in the field. Um, on location. So on location. So I feel like it's a kind of a first. Um, but uh, as all things go, you know, sometimes the first time is a, a little rough, um, you know, uh, to, I don't know, just to kind of work through. So the, um, I was listening through the, uh, you know, the recording and, um, it's really a conversation between them two because I, I was not, uh, they didn't pick me up at all. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, or it barely did. Um, and if it did, I just, I didn't really want to include it. It wasn't really worth including cause I'm, I'm like, so, um, my volume so low compared to, to theirs. Yeah, I was trying to work out how to use this recorder that I got. Mm -hmm. It's good quality. I think the audio came out great, but it's like, you know, how it picks up, you know, the direction of how the mics are picked up. I didn't place it right. And so at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was a consequence of that. But they're, hey, they sound great. So <laughs> I think, uh, you know, whatever they, they talk about and share probably is more important than what I, uh, probably what I would say in there. So, um, yeah, so we've got, um, got that audio lined up for you here. Um, but just listen, I mean, it's just really more or less the conversation throughout the evening. Um, it's just kind of a stream of consciousness of, you know, as the food comes through and, you know, the different dishes we're talking about. Um, and so, um, and at the end, towards the end, you kind of hear their thoughts on, you know, the different dishes and maybe what might could have uh, been different for them and how they might want to experience it. So um, it was really great, you know, hearing from uh, both of them, you know, because both of them are into food in their kind of own um, uh, areas. Um, but it's kind of nice to hear their thoughts on how they would, uh, how they think about food. Uh, unlike me, where I'm just eating and just, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, just <laughs> mindlessly just shelling food in my mouth. So it makes you kind of Perfect. appreciate a little more. On, um, mm. especially with, you know, in an experience like this, you know, a Michelin star restaurant and yeah, it's just, mm. it's just very cool to, um, kind of be part of that. So thank, uh, definitely thank both of them for, um, indulging and in kind of doing that. Um, but yeah, we have the audio lined up, so we're going to have you guys listen in and, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay. Run down. Get the game plan. Okay, so I'm gonna we're gonna order the chili tofu skin salad. We're also gonna get the stir fried Angus beef with garlic. The shredded pork with sweet bean sauce. We're gonna get the crispy shrimp. The special tofu. I mean, a secret tofu. The bok choy with morel mushrooms. Shrimp fried rice. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. I assume tea is included or no? Damn! Crystal pear drink, $8 a cup. Yes. Welcome to find out. I know. Arctic Ocean Soda. I wonder what that's like. I will have tap water. I was gonna say, I will have tap. So this is the thing with fine dining. It's just like fucking buffet, so the water levels are always gonna be high, so you're gonna get fucking water logs at the end of the so, yes. so try to like, you know, yeah. just wet your whistle. Like little sips. Help that that one swallow go down. Exactly. <laughs> Just clear your palate and that's it. Yeah. One day we'll try that. Yeah, I was eyeing that. I wouldn't mind getting that. Like, because when you do go to these fine dining restaurants, you should get one big dish. Yeah. yeah. Like what I've always wanted to try. What is it? Roy Choi's best friend or something, where it's like large format meals yeah, in Vegas. Vegas yeah. But I'm like, if it's me, like one other person, like, what's the point? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When I was at Cato, he was there sitting at a table, and I did some sort of a like a garnish on this thing, and he was like, he was like, hey, I want another one, and I was like annoyed. I was like, come on, man, it's my first week here, and he felt so bad. He like apologized. Wait, me. what did he want? I was ladling a sauce over dish, okay, like a broth, and I was already like shaking. 
overflows like plates. And then he was just like, that's not enough, I want more. And I knew he was fucking with me. And I was like, come on, Roy. Like, I just like, like first fucking date. And then he was like, holy shit, I didn't know. Like, <laughs> oh, and it was like, wow, yeah, I was yeah, about yeah. to walk away. He's like, oh shit, I totally didn't know. Like, <laughs> hey, at least he empathized. That's cool. Yeah, he felt so bad for me because I was like, I'm pretty freaked out. And, and you're like, and, and, and on top of that, I'm serving you, bro. Like, yeah. How like everything else starts out like you know like all the dead typhoons or whatever when like everybody's there for the hype like water service is like 30 minutes later i think dead typhoons they're pretty well oiled machine now they are yeah i don't whoever says it's not like worth it I, i'm just like i don't know what you're expecting yeah, then. yeah. because i've never been in dim sum in pretty way. damn decent yeah it's yeah. good Quality's good. Yeah. It's a lot better than... Bistro 1968. That was yeah. pretty good cool for some place. Ooh, okay. Like, the service was great. Which one? Bistro 1968. 1968. Not too far from here. No. Yeah. I think the only thing that was weird was the setup. It must have been, like, an office. <laughs> like, really? Yeah, because it looks... The layouts were interesting. And they wouldn't, like, get rid... Well, they probably couldn't get rid of the walls if they... That's what it looked like, yeah. Uh, they tried to paint it in a fun color, so like the different rooms, but... And you're like, nah. Like, just it, the skeleton of the place looked very... Yeah. Oh, I didn't... Anything Hi. to drink this time? I'm okay with water. water. I saw it. You ready? You ready, Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's probably like, like hell yeah. Yeah, yeah talk to her. <laughs> What's a large stand for? Like small size? Okay, we'll start with the chili tofu skin and say Yeah, we'll also get the uh stir fry English beef. Yeah, spicy, okay, right? Yeah. We'll also get the braids, the shredded pork with sweet bean sauce. Uh, we'll also get the uh the crispy shrimp. Yeah. Uh, the stir fried baby bok choy with morels. The fried mixed mushrooms with rice cracker bites. Uh, the shrimp fried rice with bonito. And then, uh, and then we'll get three orders of rice. You want a three red rice? Yeah. Or do you want? Yeah, that's fine. Any this one for you guys? Uh, we'll we'll wait. We'll start with that, and then if we want to add any more, we'll. So I got the chili toast skin salad. Mm -hmm. I got the stir fried English beef with garlic. And then I got the pork belly, and they got the shredded pork with chicken sauce, and then the fish and then the baby bok choy. Oh, the can we also add the na secret tofu? Secret tofu. Yeah. Take some and then I got the fried mix mushroom. Yep. And then the shrimp fried rice. The shrimp fried rice. Oh no no no! Just the shrimp fried rice. Sorry. No no no. No, no, no. no yeah. And then the secret tofu. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Am I in there with you? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to look at the I was trying to look at the subtotal, but I could not see it. So I'm gonna move. Yeah, you know when you were getting all that meat, I was like, oh damn, I didn't know where to get all that meat. But it's like small. I'm looking at the look. I'm looking at the regular, and it seems like a decent size. Yeah. Like this is an Ace Korean barbecue. Okay, I'm gonna move. <laughs> The only thing I hate about the chairs though is like it doesn't go on me. Oh damn, yeah. Yeah. So like we're stuck. Ooh. Glazed bell pepper? Maybe. Ooh, that is I don't like touching sticky things and I just touch something sticky. Did you touch it? I touched this, like the bowl. Palette cleanser? This kumquat. Oh, okay. Kumquat. It tastes like kumquat or um. It's great. Like a uh, candy brine. Yeah, I think it's candy brine. That's nice. Citrus. Or I, I want to say it's like kumquat, but I might not. Or like a candied root vegetable, like squash. Not squash. Um, yeah, it's definitely not like a citrus peel, I think. It doesn't it taste like it could be. I just want to know what fruit it is. 
I'm just wondering if I'm supposed to eat this on the side with anything. I know. Like, is it supposed to... See, if I brought Dave here, Dave would be like, you can... He would just push it towards my plate, and I would be like, okay. It reminds me of, like, when you, like, dry papaya. Or mango. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, it's gotta be, like, a fruit of some sort. What are you expecting? It's not fucking Sizzler. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> I think what he's hoping it's not like you know when you go to like the Chinese restaurants and they have like the fucking like. Yeah. Ooh, they got the uh, the dessert. The mini. Oh, man. They're retired. They can afford. Yeah. They can afford seventy dollars. No, it looks like the mini. It's only four squares, or is there one? No, that's, that's the. That's a full size? I think it's in the, uh, they, they do something special than that. My dumbass was like, is that fried zucchini? <laughs> but it looks like a rice cake, maybe. But the green and the brown part is like very off-putting. You're like, churro man. Oh, churro man. There's a really good churro truck um, in Anaheim. They like pull up in front of like an old Joann's or something and it's oh. like, it's legit. It's like the churros that are like meals. There's like all these events that always go on at USC. I'm never around for that shit, like at all. Why not? How come you don't like going to those? I'm just never around for them. Oh, it's like, like it's, I've never They been either to... happen like while like the restaurant is open or like I'll see it in the background of when I'm going home and I'm like, I ain't stopping for this shit. Yeah. And I'm just like, right. Yeah. Like, I've never been to a smorgasbord. See, you're missing out, because I've been to a few. Yeah, I've never been. I've Every time I, like, thought about going, it just never comes to fruition. We need to go to Almeida Monet Market. That's when I want to go to. That's affordable. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, is that for the go box? No, it's for Sun Mary. Someone's Man, that is fancy. They're like, cut your own cake, bitch. <laughs> Quite the fancy spot for a birthday. So, do you think that's a regular? Damn, do you think that's regular or a large? I don't know. That's pretty big. If that's a regular, that's more than that. Damn. I, like I said, I didn't get a real fucking meal, so all I had was a shit ton of snacks. snacks. And fucking one and like two flautas. Part of me was like, I shouldn't have McDonald's, but then I didn't I didn't know what to expect. But I'm glad that I didn't have just the snacks plus whatever I had for breakfast, which was literally a cinnamon roll at a coffee shop. All I had for I breakfast high on sugar. was like a few pieces of apples and peanut butter and coffee. Yeah. Because every time I kept on thinking I was going to have a break to do something, I needed to teach or like play music. Yeah. I told you, right, like, I had to go take a poop because I drank a bunch of coffee. Right when I was going to get up, they were like, hey, can you teach the last 20 minutes of class so I can get the instrument started? And I was like, fuck, all right. So I taught. You held it? Yeah, and then, like, I was like, I went to just tie my hair, and I was like, okay, now I can go poop. Hey, can you get on the instrument to start the, the hoda? And I was like, no. I gotta, I and then as soon it. as, like, the first two or three, like, whatever happened, like, couples, you know, played, Finally, someone relieved me. I like disappeared in the bathroom like 20 minutes. I was so happy. But then as soon as I came out, I was like, oh yeah, let's go. I'm so empty and flat right now. Like, let's do it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't turtle poking. I wasn't turtle heading it or anything. This shit better come out quick. I'm just kidding. Huh? I'm like, this shit better come out quick. It looks like it comes out quick because like that table of the one with the perfume, uh -huh. all their food came out. I mean, it's Chinese food still, inevitably. So it's like 30,000 butes, you know? But they might be like coursing everything out too. Thank, Thank you. you. They might be coursing everything out too to a point, you know? So we're eating the tofu salad. Yeah, it's, it's uh, tofu really skins. good. That's, this is the one thing. Okay, the, what is that? Is that the secret tofu? Yes. Oh, okay. The fried zucchini? So tofu skin is something I wish they did a lot more of in uh, Chinese restaurants. I have to come out here to like find it. I don't. I had an old coworker who brought me a tofu skin dish, and I can't find it. I don't know what to call it, and it makes me sad because I want to eat it again. You know what's interesting about people like will make fried chicken using this? How they like 
Bind it and deep fry it? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I like the cilantro stems. Yeah. That is really hot, so watch out. Yeah. Watch out the first bite. It, it has, it has the numbing peppers you guys don't like, but not a ton of it. So what is this, jujubes? This is like one of those good behind the scenes shots. Like, <laughs> you're documenting them making the show. Like, <laughs> that looks like a jujube uh, or an apple, a Chinese apple. It's probably like a silken tofu, maybe. All right, let me add it. I'm gonna try this. Is there all the shell is on that? Yeah, the shells are. Oh, I'll have to feel it. That's what makes me itchy if I consume the shell part. Well, definitely get the shell away from you. I would drive all the way here and order that if I like. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's unique. Like. Thank you. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Thank you. That looks hella spicy. Yeah. Is that it? Uh-uh. Just like we ain't done yet. Woo! Pancake for this. Pancake for that. Like mushy pork? It's a sweet, um, sour, like the sweet and sour pork. That looks kind of spicy now. So for this one, that's what we're wrapping that. Or that goes with that. Okay. <coughs> I like it. I'll try a little bit of the shell, but I'll put the rest away. I hate that I have to like that I'm gonna peel it off, but I tried a little bit of it. It tastes good. I feel like the prawns are a little bit more salty. This is good. This one, there's a lot of this stuff. I'm just gonna like, it's really, I need rice with this. This is really like moist. This is really nice. Yeah. Is it hot? Yeah, I was wanting to see if there was a candle in there. It's, it's interesting how they serve you. Yeah. All right, if it's in the middle, you're making us all a pancake. So. The gofu kind of like egg. Yeah. A scrambled egg. It's all one bite of everything. Okay, I'm done. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> we each take home something. Mm -hmm. The pork belly is like so insane. Lots of mala. Yeah, yeah it's a ton of mala. Yeah. The beef is really tender. It's kind of really, this is like a regular size. Yeah. Yeah. Good call on the regular size. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine how we would do it more. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you something funny. Like, in regards to this format. Uh huh. Yeah, eat my skin. My boyfriend was like, I have to take you to this one place. It's my favorite place in the world. They make Chinese burritos. And I was like, <laughs> Uh, Chinese burritos? I'm like, okay, cool. It's like something akin to like a city walk or whatever, like a like an Americanized Chinese food place. And I'm all up and down the menu, I'm like, Chinese burrito, Chinese burrito, like I don't see it. Yeah, and I'm thinking that it's going to be like a fusion place where they had, you know, I don't know, like Chino Latino like type of like meals. And then he's like, no, it's this one. And he points it and it's like the mushroom pork. And I'm like, so it's not a burrito burrito. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's ever done that though. Yeah. I literally texted him Chinese burrito time and he's like, yum. Yeah. I'm sure he's laughing about it, like how he confused the hell out of me for 20 good minutes. I was like, Almost, like I think it was a what little bit less sweet. I don't know. I was thinking either potato or like a I like tomato. This is, ooh, this is mushroom. I didn't get any of that. I'm just waiting for the rice because I don't want to eat this and then all of a sudden just have rice left over. I don't know. It's like an onion or something, but it's not an onion. That? It's good. It's that? like really like moist. 
I wish like it would. They would like. They didn't tell me it was mala. They were just like, oh, it's really spicy. I'm gonna try to like. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good level. Yeah, like hot pot. I don't. I was trying to eat it when I was at Idolo, and it just started getting too oily. Mm -hmm. I had a dish. It had lamb in it. I can't remember what it was. But imagine, like, it was equal, covered in it, right? Yeah, like, no, like, in. almost equal amounts. Like, you had to dig for the lamb, and I was like, oh, my God. I don't know how people can eat that, yeah. This is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was, like, less wontons, though. Yeah. Like, that's an interesting side to add. The wontons? I think for texture. Like waiting for a vegetable. <laughs> I know, I'm like waiting for the rice and like the bok choy. Like the bok choy is gonna be like a, yeah. a rescue. The reprieve. Yeah, the reprieve. Sorry, All of it is kind of like done very well. With a really nice presentation. Yeah. I think the problem is, I mean, in terms of service, I'm wondering how big are the sections are the the servers like taking care of it? Right. Like or is there a captain or is it just is it the wild, wild all this, Yeah, all of these tables. Yeah. It's like up and down. Because in a way, we're like maybe the last seating, so they're probably pumping the food out like ASAP so they can like clear it down or get through the tickets or whatever. But I also think that the rice and the veg will come out first. Yeah. I know you said don't fill up all the water, but because everything is spicy, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> Does your boyfriend like spice? He does. Does he? You think he'd want the beef? He might, yeah. I feel like I could eat it, but it would be like the last time in a long time I would eat it. <laughs> Me too, yeah. I had two pieces and I was like, that's a lot of spicy food for myself. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for this. I was like, I need something to pat it down with. Yeah. What was that girl asking you last call? Yeah. But I think she thinks I know Chinese because she was like, she's saying something to me. And I was like, okay, great. I love the mushroom in this. I was going to say there's mushrooms in the fried rice also. Huh? There's mushrooms in the fried yeah. rice also. Like, I really think this is a great. It's so beautiful though. I thought it would, uh, disintegrate after being stewed in it, you know? Maybe a gooseberry? Or a chestnut. It's not a chestnut. Yeah, it's not. I'm wondering what the secret is. It's probably tofu and egg. I think it's tofu and egg put together. That's why they like give me allergies. <laughs> Truly, there is something addicting about the mala, and it, it makes sense to me now. I'm like, why would people be addicted to spicy food? I'm like, I would have never ordered a pig but here I am going for like another bite. I would drizzle some of that on this too, like that would probably be good. I love the pork. Yeah, the pork is really good. Can you pass me a shrimp? Yeah. Pork. Thank you. Oh my god, I forgot about these. Are they got bok choy too, or no? Yeah. Damn, okay. It's hard because yeah, every I've I've heard this was like to get you buy mushrooms. I'm not gonna lie though, I am getting full. Like I'm down to air fryers. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. My cousin was like this was like the must try. I mean the vegetables at least like that's like easy, like no problem. But we had to take something home. Yeah. Yeah, like Dave will eat almost all of this stuff. Would he eat that? That might be that's why I don't think so. Really? I thought it like spicy though. Like different kind of spice. I don't know if he likes numbing. Uh, got it. Like I like everything else. Not the tofu. You know that one? 
even when it's crazy, he doesn't like pickles. He ate. I made um kimchi jjigae. Mm -hmm. He ate that. Like he ate the kimchi and everything, and I was shocked. But whenever there was tofu in it, he would just like put it in my bowl. Do you like that texture or maybe not? May we have water? How many water? Three. Three? Ice water? That's yes, fine. Okay. Well, oh, give me vegetables, please. I bet the vegetables in this together is like a nice little. Ooh, the Thai morale. It's been a minute. This, this is really good. I wish this came first. What? Yeah, I think the tasting is weird. Yeah. Like, that and that would have been my first guess to come out first. I can see rice as last. Yeah. But for the heavy stuff to come out first was not good. Like. Yeah. These are the two I would have expected last. Yeah, that one was first, second, third, fourth, fifth, last. You know, like. That's regular. Yeah. These are good though. I like how they finish this off and it spit sauce, so it like shatters. Yeah, it's caramelized. Candy. You're wild. You need a lot of the beef. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about getting it there, and I was like, mm, I don't know. Like, I can look it in your eyes. You're not gonna make it. Like, I would like another scoop of rice, so it's helping like neutralize the spiciness. The vegetables are seriously helping. That. When was the last time you uh, ate at a classy restaurant? Because I know one time you went to the bazaar. That was like forever ago. Damn. Was um, it the last time? I mean, I've been to like other like nice restaurants, but I haven't really forced myself to go to them just because you're like one of the only other people that I would have enjoyed it with. And like, you know, the previous dudes I dated were like cheese meats. So like, or the, you know, like, grill. So it's like, I'm like, if I was like, oh, it's like a 150 free fee, they'd be like, fuck what? Per I would person? be like, that's cheap. Yeah, seriously, depending on what it was. I'm like prepared to spend $200 tonight. Yeah. Like each, I'm talking about each. Yeah. Maybe. No. This is like 13, that's probably like barely 20. Imagine these are barely 28. I think I'm like overshooting it so when I'm like, oh, it's 150 dope. Yeah. I, I would say max we're probably at 200. Uh, I think I'm always expecting I want to finish everything, like lick the plate clean, but um, I guess not. Like, yeah. like if we were with John. We would have finished this, yeah. I feel like you brought Dave, we would have finished this. You'd have to get like a bunch of other rights on the side, but like. Dave? No, he just eats meat like. Like, when I make bacon for the week, okay, it's like a whole pack, right? It's gone in two days, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You're just eating it like. Like like chips? Yeah, and I like eat it like chips. Like, I'll pass by the fridge, eat the steak an hour, I'll pass by, I'll do it again. I know, it's like one more of those. <laughs> uh huh. And it's like, when I do it for myself, it's like the whole week. Yeah, you get 14 slices, you get two per day. <laughs> yeah, like that's enough for me, you know? yeah. I guess so. Yeah, usually boiling crab, there'll be like a good one to two pounds left or something, or, or, or like maybe one pound left of like different things, and he'll still, wow, that's baller. And he'll still be, he'll just sit there and I've already like washed my hands. And that's like signifies the end, if I wash my hands and take the bib off, because usually I tie my hair up, put my phone away, put my watch in my pocket. Yeah. I do it right, you know? Yeah. But yeah, like once the watch is back on, it's like, no, I'm not touching anymore. But Dave will just still be there, like, with the bib. Do it. Yeah. Do it. How is it with... Yeah, this is fucking good. I wish this had the eggs, though. Ooh, like a little quail egg on the inside of yeah, it? Yeah, oh my god. They can even jack that up another $5 price. Right. You're like, and I would buy it. That was yeah. 
I'm still really intrigued of what that is, though. Because I thought it was a grape. It's not a grape. It's something else. It's not a potato. It's... Here, let me film it. And yeah. Then... It's not a parsnip, though. Um, I don't think it's kohlrabi. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to film this with some It's my friend. It's definitely rooty. Rutabago? Or, or is it a radish? No. Yeah, like we ordered so much fucking food. The first couple pieces that were left on the side weren't as spicy, but these are like definitely not spicy. And the plating was interesting too because they had like two. So this is how the plating was. It was like a little hill with all of the Yeah, it wasn't two random spots. And then the these. That was odd. Yeah, I was like, what is that? Yeah. We don't have the menu anymore, huh? No. I want to take a picture of what this was. Because maybe my friend can translate it as to what like, it would have been. Like sticky all over. Kiwi fruit? No. No, I know it's not kiwi fruit, but. <laughs> Is that the mala? <laughs> it's like touching like my nose and I'm like, oh no, go, don't do it. Maybe it's this one. Oh no, it is a kiwi. But like, it reminds me of they, these. It looks like a gooseberry. Yeah. It could be. Golden berries, maybe? Yeah. That's kind of how I imagined it would look like. But it definitely was like rooty. Yeah. It's like if if the flavor of a potato with the texture of a grape. Yeah. Something like that. It's like killing me. I'm like, what the fuck is it? I ate like three of them. I'm good. Well, done? Okay. I know, I thought you were probably the three horsemen. The three the horsemen? Good game, good game. What? Good game. Yeah, I don't eat bread, dessert, or anything. No, no. Yeah. Where do you want to go? I think I want a fruit tea. Yeah. Yeah. Or we can go to Boba Time. Uh, you want like sagu, huh? It's on you Alan. want like a tapioca sagu thingy? Okay, yeah, we're going can to. Can I get one of that flap? Or the vegetable that's beach. No, we can go to Meat Fresh. It's probably better. It's nearby. Yeah. Take a long way around and walk it. Just kidding. How do you want to portion this out? Y'all can take a shrimp. I don't know whoever wants it. You can have it. Finish the rice. That's like... Is that even anything? Yeah, that's a... That's a portion. Like, this would be a box. How many boxes do you think we need? You want to take anything home to eat, like, for you? Some of this shit's this is good with plain rice. I'll take that in because I know you guys have to like that. Oh. You don't like the mala. It was slight. I was okay with that. Yeah. But you wouldn't pick that to take home. No. I don't know. Probably some shrimp and pork belly. And really, I would just make a little platter full of everything. Or because I have rice at home, and then Dave would just eat it with rice. Well, you guys want to divide them. Just ask them to give us like three to go containers. Yeah, we'll just do that. Because this, if you put into tiny pieces, that's like two meals right there. Mm -hmm. Do you think dogs have the same perception of spicy as we do? I've never given any of my 
dog spicy. Because I've always wondered if something like this, if a dog would be like. I remember I gave my Rottweiler a piece of an onion one time. No, no, lemon juice. Oh. Uh -huh. And then he did one of, and you can tell he looked a lot because he was like. <laughs> Bo, so like my old bulldog. Oh, that's so cute. He was just like. He's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, he was like, what the fuck? Parsnip, when I got parsnip, I was told she can eat anything. And, really? But like, I mean, I'm not going to give her a chocolate bar, but like, yeah. she doesn't have any allergies or anything. Yes. This fat herb spicy? No, right? Fat? This fat herb spicy? No, right? No. I'm going to try and do some of our brain shit. I'm like, I really want to blow my nose, but like, not on this. What I would do is, if I would take that home, I would do a wrap. Immediately. Yeah, you would wrap it already. Because when you go home and you reheat it, put it on the pan. And that way you like toast it up. This is like the one, I don't know how this is like, if it was the first one, but it didn't have any browning on it whatsoever. I know, this one, It was a little I doughy. I wish this came out first. Oh, you kind of, like, the order was off. Mm -hmm. It's my only, I think, dessert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the vegetables, like, it got to a point where we had to stop eating because, like, I needed it something. It would have been all meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like everything. I like how everything is plated. Like I like the plates and the. the yeah. I just think like the flow of the dishes were not. Whoever was expediting probably was like, let's go home. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I think the expedi expediting wasn't good, but. See, that's the problem. Like I don't. I don't think I know Michelin, Michelin enough, like what, regard, I mean it's one star, like I don't even know it, like, I don't think I can even like, so three, three boxes, three bags. I don't think it's right. Oh, this should be good. Yeah, this should be good. A bit too much. Okay, thank you. In case, in case. Okay, okay. Thank you. Do you want to start? Um, I, I, I have no, like, I have no horse in the race of, like, what's Michelin and what's not. Because L.A. and, L.A. is, like, the last people to, we're the last bastion of, of restaurants, and, like, we don't even need that. Oh, thank you so much. Like, we don't even need that title, you know? Like, we really don't. So, to me, I don't really... I couldn't tell you what it's Michelin and what's not. I think it definitely deserves the price. I think what we what we pay for, however expensive it is, is worth it. Yeah, but I think the expediting shit because like if I was sending out dishes, I would fire vegetable first. I would fire bok choy. Well, definitely the tofu salad, bok choy. Then I would go to a shrimp. Then. Um, then maybe the mala beef. No, I would go the I would go the tofu, then the pork, then the bok choy, then the shrimp, then the mushroom, then the rice, mushrooms, and then like the other heavy. I put heavy at the end. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Is, like to me, to a tasting menu, from what I've learned with at Kato, it's like yeah, you want a, a progression. Damn, Gina. <laughs> I know the guy was like, "This is not enough boxes." Uh, I'd be like, "I'm not. I don't think we're trying to take every single little piece off." Or are we? Oh, okay. I know I'm not the only one taking the mushrooms off. Right. So okay. you're not. <laughs> All right, that's a little something still. Someone who wants vegetables, and I know you guys don't want this, right? No, if you want it, take it. Does anyone want to take the rice? You want me? To, I'm down to take the rice. Okay. If you're down to eat it, take it. <laughs> no. I mean, I would have just ate some of it when I got home. 
You know what really surprised me though? The way they served was a combination of American fine dining and French. That actually shocked me. They French. served everything from the left, which is American, uh -huh. and then the way they served the fried rice is French with the double spoons. I was Ooh. like, this is some old school shit. That's really interesting. I thought that was yeah. I was like, I thought that was common, but good yeah, to know. French style with two spoons. American was what the, that they served to the left. Oh. Everything that I noticed they came up with was to the left. Yeah. Only Jamie would notice that. I love it. Yeah, have this. If you. I thought you didn't like Mala, so that's the only reason why I was going to take it if nobody wanted it. So you can no, totally you can take, take it. it. You can totally take it. Can I take some shrimp? Yeah, have all the shrimp. I ain't taking any of it. Do you not want to take any shrimp? Yeah. It's for Dave, really. Like, while I'm like busy doing other capoeira things. I just want to make sure you have something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Are you taking mushrooms? Okay. <laughs> this is good for like a snack. Like I can't yeah. wait to eat this during John Wick. Nice. <laughs> like, I'm fucking eat this during... Here, I'll give you this too. That's all. You didn't eat it? <laughs> vegetables? Do you take vegetables? Yeah, I'll take this. I really did like the vegetables. I thought the morels were a little salty. They were a little, yeah. They were kind of salty. But maybe that's their point because the bok choy is so, like, plain. Yeah, that they're like, oh. Did you get your pork? Pork right here. Mm -hmm. I'll help you pack. What do you want? You want all this? <laughs> Yeah, as soon as I knew it was the end of the meal, I started pumping water like it was like going out of style. I'm gonna definitely take this piece. My fat? Yeah. I'm gonna render it. Like Dave will eat this whole thing. Yeah. Definitely. I was just feeling a little greasy, so I was like, I won't eat this. It'll probably be a waste, but. And then, how many of these are left? One. Just like. Yeah, how do you. Keep that, maybe? No. Oh, yeah. That's you, bro. Oh, you! But yeah, like, I'm, I'm not a Michelin... I don't know how you would rate a Michelin Yeah, like, because... Michelin, like, institution in LA is only three years old, maybe. Uh, it's the worldwide one, or the same one? Yeah, yeah, I remember the inspectors were at Cato. Thank God they were all there on the fucking days I weren't there. But they were constantly checking bathrooms. They'd ask different questions, and really? they were looking at everything. So I was gonna say, like, hawker stalls have mission ratings. Yeah. Like, this See, is because that's the thing, like, Michelin is so old, you know? Like, it's been yeah. around for, for years at these places, yeah. but not in LA. Uh, I forget what it's called, but the like a street stall or a food truck, they have a different Michelin uh, rating. Oh, they do. Yeah, it's not under the same Michelin you get like you know freaking Jose Andres stuff. Yeah. Meat fresh is gonna be so refreshing. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those things where like, oh yeah, that's some good stuff. I think it was just the pacing, like uh, she was saying. Like, it, I would have, you know. Like I said, the expediter either took off and, and like, the manager was right. Yeah. Someone that's not a good expediter. Because... Right. Or they were just, like, they were saying, like, just firing whatever. If it were me, I would have been, like, I've done it before where you would say, like, first two appetizers, you're, like, like order order send then finish the rest of the order and see which one you know comes out first yeah. or course fire yeah like depending on what kind of um pos systems that they have oh my god you ready to pay for it oh you gotta pay everything good yes, yes. <laughs> enough the oh yeah okay. more than enough oh god what's the damage it. what's the damage scroll all the way down Oh god. That was good Angus beef though. That was. That was like fucking If it wasn't like, like half the amount of seasoning on there, I would have 
plowed through it. I think you did. Kind of, yeah. You still did, dude. That was impressive. My lips are like... No, I could say... <laughs> like, you're, you're still in it. Yeah. In the front, yeah, yeah I did. That's what I liked about that, too. But she put it mostly in one bowl, I noticed that. It was like all in my bowl. Yeah. 200? I mean, that actually is not that bad for all of us. So, um, so the tip would be about $40. It would be around like 11 no, $40 by. Yeah. Are we just bundling each other or what are we doing? Okay. okay. Get them points, boy. I usually just double the tax into, so I just make the it The tip's on the bottom, yeah. Or if it's 45, like three of us, it's 15. Just make it an even 15 for tax. Yeah. I mean, uh, for tip. So 266 divided by three plus 15? Exactly. Okay. Here. So 266 divided so by three. Call it 105. Yeah. Oh, 105. Huh? 105? No. Oh, yeah, I want this. Oh, no, she wants a bag. Do you want a bag? Oh, do you want a bag? No. I'm okay. No. No, because <laughs> sorry. I was. And it was like, do I want sorry, a bag? Sorry, it's your <laughs> max sense. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can't understand. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, okay, 104 it is. Are you a Venmo or a Zelly person? Okay. Okay. Zell myself. <laughs> the price is worth it. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, everything was very professional. The fucking, like, dining room is beautiful. The plates are beautiful. Like, the, the plating is really nice. And, like... Like the waiters, like they did what they can do. I just think the only thing that was bad was the extra like the order that came. Mm -hmm. Like a part of me, I bet, even probably thinks the wait staff probably was like, holy fuck, there's like all the meats on their table. Is that what they were ordering? Oh, they got vegetables. Yeah. I'm like, but what do you think? What? Like, do you think this is all worth it to you? I think it was uh, worth it to me in the sense of like, I got to try things that I don't ordinarily, yeah, or I ordinarily too. wouldn't have tried. Like these are not at me as like red lobster, like, <laughs> like your kids haven't gotten A, your kids got all A's, like, okay, uh -huh. we're going to Bistro now, like you better like it, you know, yeah, like, yeah. or your kid like went to a piano recital or some shit like that, yeah. and it's Asian, it's fine, we're Asian, but like, yeah, yeah, like a celebration, like I would take yeah. my parents here. Like I probably wouldn't have like, Ventured into get getting that. this yeah. one because I'm like, oh, it's spicy. I don't want to try it. But then I'm like, you know, fuck it. Like, try that. This one was good. This was a good uh, safety standard. Yeah. This was really good in the sense of like. This year, yeah. I will say, you gotta eat it once it hits the table. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I still don't know how they cook it like that because I make a a dupe of the lotus of Siam. But I separate the shells. Do you think it's a dust? Or do you think it's a wet? Like at Lotus of Siam? Or the, for this one, what did you think? That's a wet. That's a wet? Like a I really think they super might be thin batter? It or brushing it. Okay. Or because it's not really caramelized. Yeah. Because so if they were hitting that in a wok, it yeah. would be caramelized. Yeah. Um, and that shrimp would have been super brown too if they like put it in a deep fryer or something. Yeah. Uh, at a lot of fine dining restaurants, they'll use like. Almost, you know that little tea thing where it looks like it looks like a strainer. A lot of times, they'll use that for really fine dust, like matcha powder or something like wow, that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They use it a lot. Yeah. Dang. And I was wondering if that if any because a lot of times you'll see that in all fine dining restaurants, but here it's not. So they might. I think they're using either sprays, like a spray bottle, or a brush. Because mm. it's like the tiniest. Yeah. That would totally make sense. I had I thought she was like, do you want to take it back? And I was like, No, I was like, take do it you back? want a bag? You're uh, taking a bag. <laughs> okay. And I was like, that's why I was like, no, I'm okay. And I was because I was not sure what she was saying. And then she said it again, and I was like, I was like, do you want a bag? Yeah. Now mine would have hit dry with yours, but I'm like, it's one container, it's fine. And then like I'll be like to to Dave, yeah, you'll use this air fryer. But he's gonna open it and eat with his hands. Right. Thank you so much.
Okay, yeah, that wasn't that bad. Yeah. I, I will say, and I'm sorry, uh, I always over order. So we probably could have gotten away with maybe less, but. It's fine. It would have been wild if it was just you and I. That would have, yeah, I would have been like, I would have heard you say three things and be like, it's okay. <laughs> Don't need to get everything. No, I used to, I, I do just do that too. Well, yeah, you wanted one of everything. That's what the fucking show is called. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got one of each. Or it was like one of each category at least. We got yeah. one of each category, yeah. yeah. I'm just glad we didn't get anything at market price. That shit always scares me. Yeah. That would have been like. Have you seen Community? Yes. Like Donald I Glover was community. like, market, they said market price. What market are you shopping at? If you heard us, that was at Bistro Na. Sarah Jordan says, another episode in the books. <laughs> I would like echo him over DM. Once he knew it was me, so like, but yeah, I, I can't listen to this shit anymore. Like, okay. uh, what's it, Max Shapiro? What yeah. do you think about Max Shapiro? It's very interesting, that guy. I mean, like... I've seen him at Kato, but I want to say... Oh, really? Him. It's just, I don't know. It's just, uh... Do, do you oh, give any... Credence or to his uh, I mean, he's a real estate guy, he's not really a foodie. But I know, but like, he, he seems to have a not a very deep breadth of knowledge of fine dining techniques. Ooh, and this guy, like, this guy is like a real estate guy, but he's like friends with a lot of people in the industry, of course. And uh, yeah, he has like, a lot of wine knowledge and stuff, like, and find out. I mean, he made he hosted like his own tasting menu dinners at his place, right? You know, but somebody else put it together, not him, I would assume. No, he no, put it together. Like, he planned like the whole menu. Yeah. I think that he must have gotten cooking lessons. Like, you know, some rich people can like get a cooking lesson right. from like, a chef. Right. Like, I feel like maybe he's done that. Yeah. Because he's like, his real estate will sell like tens of like $10 million homes and shit like that. He's I mean, not, like, yeah. Your 21st century yeah. I know. condo and Burbank no. type no. of guy. Yeah. Yeah. No. He's kind of a well to do, you know. So, but he seems to know his stuff. I mean, I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, it's real. He, I, I follow he him. can definitely converse, he can definitely hold a conversation with people in the industry, um, especially in the fine dining world. It's like, yeah, ready? Yeah, okay. All right, I'll get it. I'll come on that side. Another, this another side meal down. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> and that was Bistro Nas. Bistro Banana Nas. Banana Nas. Wow, that was uh, that was pretty cool. Very interesting um, experience at, at Bistro Nas. I don't know you. What do you think, my Joe? Yeah, listening to them talk, it kind of made me want to go visit. It, learned a lot, you know. Yeah. Um, it, when are we? When are we going? <laughs> Hey, I'm free. Um, so I just need to find the time when you are, and then we'll try to find something. Um, right. But uh, I, I think it was pretty cool uh, to kind of hear about these different dishes. Um, we had even as something as simple as like um, kind of this tofu dish that we had that um, kind of had the kind of the silky egg texture uh, to kind of this um, shredded pork or beef dish. Um I don't know. It's just just kind of getting a, a take from them was uh, pretty cool um, to hear, and the food itself was was stellar. I mean, like the mm -hmm. service, the the food, okay. and yeah, like all these aspects I was talking about earlier, like presentation and whatever. It was really top notch. You know, you usually get one Michelin star usually because the food itself is excellent. Um, but I think our whole experience um, was uh, was quite was quite memorable. So. Um, we're quite, uh, we're quite satisfied, you know, um, you know, you, so it's worth an experience, you know, again, as, as you heard, like Jamie kind of goes into this thing, like, uh, you know, really what is worth a Michelin star? Is it, you know, does it really mean anything these days? Is it, you know, but, um, we can agree that, uh, the experience and what, you know, what you're paying into it, um, in this case is definitely worth it kind of matches with, you know, what, what they're giving you. So, um, yeah, if you're out in the SGV, um, and you want to try a Michelin star restaurant, Bistro Nas is definitely up your alley. Um, so hopefully you, you know, you'll get to try that very soon. So, um, I'm, 
you know, I'm hungry now. I, I hope that, uh, <laughs> we might need to, um, get some appetite, uh, and get that built up. But, you know, uh, aside from that, I mean, that's it for me. And we've come to the end of, uh, of another episode. So thank you for joining us. We are excited to bring you more of our adventures with good food and good people. You can reach out to us on Instagram. I'm at Dumb and Hungry, and he's at my underscore chow. You can reach us by email at hi at dumbandhungry.com, where you can send us your feedback and your love letters. Uh, you can find the videos here on YouTube, and you can also find the audio wherever fine podcasts are served. But until next time, I'm Angelo. And I'm Aisha. And on your next food adventure, remember to try one of each. Thank you.